Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to talk about two-way data binding. So in the previous videos, we talked about data binding and event binding, right? So the difference, of course, would be data binding is, first of all, with the brackets, and you would get information from the class, and you send that data into the template, okay? So data here, I would send it over into the element, most likely. The template, I'm, I'm sorry, the event binding is you get, it's with the parentheses, you get some behavior activity in the template, and then you would send the information to the subsequent class, right? So that's what, what, what the difference between the two of them actually is. It's the direction of flow of information. So it would stand to reason that two-way data binding, we would be getting information from the template, sending it to the class, getting this information here and sending it back up into here, all right? Kind of makes a little sense in, in that way. So what we're going to do is make in a small app just to d display that. Now, the key thing is going to be ng model. So it's the bracket, then parentheses. They said the documentation says think of a banana in a box. Uh, I was just thinking a ball in the box, okay? So a ball inside of a box. And then you have the keyword ng model. So I had always thought that it would be something like value because it would be the value of this element, right? But no, it's ng model. And because when you think about it, when you're going to input things inside, it's going to be an input, right? What else is it going to be? Um, unless, of course, you make your own custom two-way binding function. But, but for right now, this is, I think, the only two-way binding keyword here. So we would go ng model and it would be something right inside of here. So it's going to equal the variable something down here at string. It's going to be hello world. So it goes from information here and it sends it down here. So that's kind of like an event, right? Um, actually, it's the opposite direction. I'm really sorry. So it would load the page. It would send information string something into the area right inside of here into this and here. So in both elements. So if I, the whole key about data binding is if I start changing the contents, type equals text, context of this element, it would change this value. And if it changed this value, it would subsequently, next step, push the changes to the other in value. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Because what we're going to see here is hello world. And so then I'm going to delete this. And then I'm going to add... Hi. So what I'm doing is I'm getting information here, variable something, and I'm changing it to hi. So I'm changing, excuse me, I'm changing the value of something into hi. And when I change this, the other, the other area actually changes in addition to it to reflect it. Okay. So what if I change, I change this input. What if I change this input? It would be the same thing, right? Because both of these have the same ng model right here, and it both ch it, it goes into something right there. And so when one changes, the other changes too. Okay? What if it was something a little bit different? What if we had something like instead of ng model, we had um, value equals something? Let's see what that actually does. And I'm going to change this right here. Whoops, hang on. Value equals something. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I'm getting there. Hang on. Uh, so um, when I did not, when I put value equals something, that was plain HTML, right? So it was putting something as the value. I have to put the brackets inside there to make it data binding. So what should happen is I change the information here, sends it down to here, and this eventually also pushes the value of something right there. Did I say that? I did save it. Okay. And then I'm going to change this right here, and it's going to change it. But so in other words, information changes this. This pushes the data right here. You, I could have used interpolation as well, of course. Now, what if I start changing this right here? 
nothing really happens, right? So in other words, actually, nothing changes. Here, it will, of course, because we're sending, if we, if we change this value, we're not sending information here because this is data. This receives information from the class app component, but it doesn't, if I change this value, nothing is sent through. And that's why, I don't know, I personally would have wished they would have done something like this. Like that, that would have made more sense to me. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm sure there was a re specific reason for that. So let's go back to this. And by the way, this can work with any type. So if I put type equals number, this would have to be an int and numbers, we could use numbers instead. And the same behavior would be the case. The changing this would change here. Now the question of course is, eh, it looks neat and all, but what's the purpose behind it? Well, sometimes the, the, the purpose behind it is sometimes you do want to change this value and we'll go into example of that in the future. You want to change this value right here and you want to get this information. I'm not going to just change it but I want to access this value right inside of there. So I could do a query selector element, right? And say element dot value. I could do that to get this information, but this makes it a shortcut way of actually getting the information out of here um, very, very easily. And again, we'll show that in the future, but that's the purpose behind it. Um, I'll give you an, uh, just a quick other example. What if I change this to something like button? Uh, of course, I could use value, but but let's just try this, okay? So you could put this information absolutely anywhere. Hello world, hi, it'll change the value of the button. So you could change this information absolutely anywhere. And um, uh, whatever we do with that, well, I'm just going to say that for the future, okay? So we're going to say for the future in terms of what to actually do and how to actually use it because um, it's pretty simple and straightforward once you get it. Uh, it took me a really long time to figure it out though, okay? Thanks.